Bob Sweeney took the helm of the Mackinac Bridge 17 years ago after working in the Alpena and Cadillac offices of MDOT. It was a move that would change his life, but after almost two decades, he is leaving the bridge and heading south. Corey Adkins takes a look back at his tenure at the Mighty Mac. When you start with MDOT, you usually work in Lansing or Detroit, and I just gradually started working my way north. <laughs> good for you. Yeah, it, it was a good move. It was a good move for everyone. Even though difficult changes, like the toll increase, had to be made, he led the Mackinac Bridge Authority through them with grace. Another hard move to make? Changing the bridge walk. Unfortunately, with uh, worldwide low technology terrorism where people are driving vehicles into crowds and stuff like that, we had to adjust the bridge walk as well. We had some pains of making those adjustments. Our busing was a disaster that first year. And uh, so in-house staff, my maintenance foreman, was the one that came up with the idea of this U-Walk. The U-Walk is where the bridge walkers start from either the Mackinac or St. Ignace side. Walk the bridge to the halfway point, then turn around and come back. It worked out to be successful in an unexpected way, since no vehicles were allowed on the bridge during the walk. That meant no loud exhaust from the buses. It was really cool being out there. It was so quiet and peaceful. Even though Bob is an engineer, a big part of his job is community outreach. This job, it was, it was like community outreach on steroids. Anything we do out there is statewide or national interest. Like in 2007, during the 50-year celebration. Yeah, we had uh, former governors here, uh, uh, U.S. Senators, it was a fantastic event and really went off well. So like we were saying, the work on the bridge basically never, ever, ever, ever stops. And when Dirty Jobs came to town? It's like, wow, you know, I watch that show all the time. I said, this will be fantastic because I know they're going to highlight all the work we do and the people that do that work in pretty challenging locations. Because the Dirty Jobs crew needed a helicopter to get some of their shots, Bob wanted to have a press conference so people wouldn't worry about a helicopter buzzing the bridge. But that caused an interesting situation. And we had a huge uptick in traffic because they were trying to see Mike Rowe. It appears that the Mackinac Bridge, once thought to be a permanent connection only between Michigan's two peninsulas, will soon swing daily to Mackinac Island. And who could forget one of the best April Fool pranks we've ever pulled on you? Bob was in on it. Once we looked into it, our engineers uh, informed us it was surprisingly easy to move the 100 million pound structure uh, five miles long from Mackinac City to Mackinac Island to make that connection. So easy, in fact, they plan to swing the bridge over to the island once a day, starting in just a few weeks. We're going to swing it over at 4.01 a.m. and 4.01 p.m., and that's in correlation to today's date, uh, April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm proud to report that absolutely nothing in that story was true, and, and happy April Fool's Day. Through the years, Bob has taken many of us at 9 and 10 to the top of the bridge. Uh, some who didn't do too well with heights, and some who did. He's even been stuck in those tiny elevators with us. Uh, <laughs> hi, Bob. And through it all, he's been a great contact, and even a better friend. But it's time for a change. Time to move on, try something different. Uh, you know, my family's growing. It's a good time to, for me personally to try something different. He's moving to Florida to head the Department of Public Works in Port St. Lucie. You know, things that made my life successful and everything I did is I worked with good quality people um, and good communities as well, um, both in MDOT and especially the staff here. They take such pride in ownership in everything they do. It's really, uh, that's beneficial. And I was lucky enough to work with a board that was really supportive and uh, very talented. So those things really are going to make the, this job a lot easier for the next person that takes over. From everyone here at 9 and 10 News and Northern Michigan, we all want to thank you for taking such good care of Michigan's Mighty Mac. We'll miss you, but wish you luck in your new adventure. The bridge will always be near and dear to my heart. 9 and 10 will be near and dear to my heart. And it's uh, been a fantastic job, and I want to change it for the life. For 9 and 10 News, I'm Corey Adkins.